morning. Good morning, sir. Once again, good morning. Are you all right? Yes, sir. Comfortable? Yes, sir. You remember we have been talking about stage manners. Please write if you have not written already. Stage manners. Stage manners for the for public speakers for professional presenters okay i have not said rules i have not said laws i have not said acts i have said manners these are socially acceptable socially accepted forms of behavior or norms of behavior you know how you should stand, how you should greet. There is no rule which forces you to help an 80 year old struggling with a heavy bag, but there is a social norm, there is a social convention which says that if you are 20 year old and if before you there is a lady struggling with a heavy bag, you should offer to help her. How would you help her? You would say please and then what would you say next? You can say please and extend your hand or you can say please, may I help you? What would you say? Please, may I help you? These are social norms. There is no law which forces you to help her. Similarly, these are norms, socially accepted conventions. If you follow them, you are respected, you are understood and you become an effective speaker. Okay? I told you yesterday that two or three things matter very much. How you dress, what is your body language. I also told you that your listeners are more impressed by what they see than by what they hear. I also told you that it is voice modulation that carries meaning. Do you remember? Yes. yes or no? Do you remember? Yes, sir. Right. I would like to reinforce these two or three points once again. Audience, your listeners are much more impressed by what they see than by what they hear. I will make an experiment to prove this point with your help. Just continue to do what I am doing and also do what I tell you to do. Okay. Bring your fingers in a circle, everybody, bring your fingers in a circle okay. and slowly, gradually take it to your chin, okay. How many people took it to their chin, C H I N? How many people took it to their chin? CH, raise your hands. One, a, another person here, somebody, two people I saw took it to their chin, which is what I had said. But because I took it to my cheek, because I took it to my cheek, everyone here did not follow what I said, but you followed what I, what you saw. You did not follow what you heard, you followed what you saw. This is a very powerful expression of the impact, the visual impact that you have on your listeners. If you are not well dressed, if you are nervous, if you are not sure of yourself, your audience is not going to go with you. Have no doubts about that. Okay, is that okay? Do you, do you understand? Yes or no? Please, I, I get nervous if I do not hear you, if I do not see you smiling and all that. Okay? Similarly, voice modulation, slow tempo is extremely important. 
you may have only 30 seconds, you may speak only two sentences. Make your two sentences such that all the important points are packed into those two sentences, but do not rush them. Okay? Do not rush 50 minute talk into a 30 second slot. Human beings have something called intelligence and imagination. They are the only ones who can decide how to behave in a given context. Most animals do not have that facility. So, when you have limited time, it is all the more important. I like to repeat myself. Are you with me? Yes, sir. When you have limited time, it is all the more important that you speak slowly, pleasantly and clearly. Okay? Now, the question arises, how slow is slow? I have said on the slide today, the leading slide today, my most, my first slide today that slow speech or slow tempo is your best bet to be understood. How slow? Okay. There have been efforts at measuring, you know human speech can be measured. Engineering that way is a wonderful science. Engineering has only one claim upon human intellect that it can quantify any problem, any idea, how distant is sun or the moon or the Jupiter, how much noise is there at RDR traffic signal or how much pollution is there inside our homes. Engineering can, engineering sciences can measure all this. We can also measure how slow you should speak. But beyond these measurements, there is something called instinct, where as you know such as when you eat. Do you have a chart before you like Americans, 30 kilograms, sorry not 30 kilograms, uh, you know how do they measure nutrition? Uh, sorry? Calories, 30 calories of this, 40 calories of that. So, do you say 30 calories of idli? and 20, 10 calories of chutney, you know your instinct, your tongue tells you how much of what you should take. Of course, there are people who eat more than they should. I am sure you know them in the hostel, right? You know they eat like their every meal is the last meal. <laughs> okay? There are some people on the other hand who do not want to eat at all. Okay? they are obsessed, the food is not good, the mood is not good, you know all kinds of problems. But in between, the majority of us, the decent people like you and me, okay, we know instinctively how much we ought to eat, how much we ought to take any drink of water or juice or milk. Okay. Similarly, develop, this is important, please write that word, develop a feeling for the tempo. Okay? I will also play you today some examples of a comfortable speech at a comfortable tempo and I will ask you to decide if you would like to speak that way. I am going to play you one or two rec recordings from my earlier classes. I have taught this course for nearly 25 years and you know uh, some of your seniors made the effort, learned how to speak slowly. So, I have got some of their recordings here, I will play them to you, but let me give you a bit of theory as, as well. After all, we are students of sciences and arts. Is that okay? Are you, are you with me? Yes, sir. Lovely. Let us let's, let's stay together. If you speak rapidly, what happens? I, I want you to give me all your attention. I am talking some abstract theory. Okay? It is nothing concrete, not example. Okay? So, if you talk rapidly, then each unit of speech gets limited time. The highest unit of speech is syllable. What is a syllable? I will give you an, uh, you know, I will give you an example. 
it has how many syllables? Only one. You can produce it in one breath pulse. Your lung has to expand and contract only once. But look at the other another word. How many syllables does it have? Why? Because your breath pulse, your, your lung has to contract and expand twice. No matter how clever you are, you may be JE rank 1. Okay? Your teachers like me touch your feet, you are JE rank 1. Okay? Even then, you cannot speak it in one breath pulse. You will have to say mang ki. Okay? How many syllables does this have? How many people say two? How many people say three? How many people say nothing? You know, neutrality is the best. I am not concerned. Okay. It has three. What are those? A, Li, Fant. Okay. So, you syllable is organized, sorry, speech is organized in syllables across languages, in all languages of the world. We in India call them akshar. Have you heard of that word? When you learnt Telugu or Tamil or Hindi, you were told your akshara. When your literacy was started, it was known as akshara arambha. Your parents, your grandparents did puja, offered payasam to gods and to themselves. Okay? So, this is akshara arambha, akshara. All speech in all languages of the world is organized in syllables. If you speak rapidly, what happens is, you know, rather than get this space, you know, it is contracted. If you speak more rapidly, it is further contracted. Can you make out what it is? If you speak, what is this is? Okay. Can you make it out easily? Okay. I will give you another word. Can you make it out easily? What is this? How many people feel sure? We have difficulty. Even when you know it is that word, you are not too sure. Suppose I wrote it this way. Do you feel sure? Yes or no? Everybody please. Yes, sir. Right. This is the same thing in speech, you know. Each unit of speech has a time slot. If you speak rapidly, you take away its time. You do not give it enough time. Then in the same space, like an Indian railway general compartment, meant for 12 people carrying 72 people, like a PTC bus in Chennai, okay, or in the morning 8 o'clock our institute bus meant for 40 people carrying 230. Okay? Then it becomes difficult. Each syllable therefore, gets less time. Okay? Rapid speech, second problem is rapid speech is not considered polite. If you speak rapidly, it appears you want to dismiss him. You come to my room, I am working on my computer and you ask me, Sir, can I see you tomorrow morning? I say get lost. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right? Polite speech is slow speech, careful speech, clear speech. Similarly, you know, there have been researches, there are researches. Have you heard of uh, a test called test of English as a foreign language, TOEFL? Have you heard of another test of English called International English Language Testing System? Okay. Many of these international tests and we at our own institute have done enough researches to see. I will I will be telling you more about those researches a little later. We have also you know tested intelligibility, how rapidly can you speak and yet be understood. And a general consensus. Once again, there are no hard and fast rules. It is not that you must always walk to the left, you must pay taxes. A general consensus is 
if you speak at the rate of about 300 words per minute okay, or roughly about 6 words per second roughly it could be 5, it could be 7. Okay. Similarly, if I say it could be 305, 304, 290, you know, do not come. Somebody came to ask me if he spoke at the rate of 299 words per minute, would he be understood? What would be your answer? Yes, you know, in human behavior, there are no hard and fast rule, rules. Human beings can survive in Sahara, in Siberia, on snow in desert, you know, God has designed human beings with a special effort. Okay? But ordinarily speaking, ideally speaking, this would be considered a comfortable tempo of speech, because it would give your listeners, as I said, enough time to comprehend. I will tell you more about it a little later. Let me there are other advantages if you speak slow. Okay? You know, I am over emphasizing slow tempo, because you know that is one thing we need to learn. Somehow in India, we believe that rapid speech is fluent speech, that is not correct. Fluency does not mean great tempo, fluency only means your ease with word. If you want to describe the, this color you should know what color it is. What is the color of my shirt today? Okay. If what is the word for grey in Tamil? You do not know Tamil, you are not fluent in Tamil. It does not mean great speed. Okay. What is the word for grey in Hindi? Oh, no. <laughs> I should give a course in Hindi vocabulary, Tamil vocabulary, Telugu. Malayalam, okay. please edit this portion out. I do not want my the world to think that my students are illiterate in their mother tongue. Okay. You, so, you see this is what you mean by fluency. If you do not know enough language in a particular language, enough words in a particular language, you are not fluent in that language. It has nothing to do with rapid speech. So, that is what I am trying to emphasize. There are other advantages, a slow speaker can think on his feet. Sometimes you know, students you know I have taught for about 40 years, sometimes students ask me difficult questions. Sir, what is the meaning of x? If I speak slowly, I, 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 I get time to think and tell them and I can tell them, come on man, <laughs> what a silly question you are asking. Why do not you look up, <laughs> why do not you look up the dictionary and tell me tomorrow also? Okay, do not forget, okay. you know I am not telling, trying to tell you tell lies. If you do not know, you can say there is no harm in saying I am sorry I do not know. Do you imagine that anyone other than God knows everything? Do you? Do you? No, say yes or no. no. So, there is no harm in saying you know I do not know, but even when you want to say I do not know, say it slowly, politely you know with a smile on your lips. Well, maybe you will try, you will take his help. You are involving your friend, your student, your listener, the participant at the talk you are giving in the learning enterprise. There is no harm about that, but you can do that only if you can think on your feet. No matter how much you plan in advance, each human situation is so dynamic that unforeseen things, shall I repeat myself, unforeseen things keep happening. Therefore, if you speak slowly, you get time to think on your feet. Okay? Slow speaker can also anticipate audience reaction, they know what kind of joke would go well, whether to have a joke at this point or what to do. You know, I will play some old recordings now, you know, and I like you to I like you to decide. I would like you to open your notebook, okay? Listen to it, make some notes if you feel like, but I am going to ask you some questions based on 
the listening of this text. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Try and concentrate. You know, uh, earlier in on in earlier batches when I taught it in the classroom, not in this kind of wonderful studio, there were a lot of ambient noise. Yet, your seniors concentrated, heard well, and answered questions. So please try to listen. My name is Vijay Ganesh Reddy. My roll number is 91234. My branch is mechanical. My mother tongue is Telugu. Age is 20. And I have elected this course because language is a powerful uh, way of uh, communication. And for one to be successful, you need uh, better communication skills. And you can enjoy doing that. I have needed some new bookshelves for a long time. So during my holiday, I decided to tackle the job myself. Not that I am very clever with my hands, but it did not seem too difficult. And as I had already said that we could not afford to go away, I thought it would be prudent not to spend money having it done professionally. I bought the wood at the local handicraft shop and, and, and had been left behind by the previous owner of the house. It was not good enough and I decided to buy a new one. That was my first mistake. My second one was to go to the biggest ironmonger in London and ask for a saw. You would think it was simple, wouldn't you, to buy a saw, but it's not. Serenity. I am Vijay. What is the name of this boy? Please write. Is it a boy or a girl? Boy. Obviously. What is the name of this boy? Vijay Kumar. How many people feel sure? Raise your hands. Okay. What is his roll number? Have you written it down? Okay. What branch of what language does he speak at home? How old is he? Okay. What is he talking about? Making some what is he talking about? Something he did in the summer. What is he talking about? Make a guess. Are you afraid of being making mistakes? No. Don't make mistakes that cost life. But classroom is the only place. Remember, I hope some of you become teachers and you carry on this tradition. Okay? Classroom is the only place where you can make mistakes and yet prosper yet learn. Outside the classroom in the world, it is not so easy. Okay? So, if you have some answer, try and test. What is he talking about? What is Vijay Ganesh already talking about? Okay? about making, something. making a bookshelf. Making a bookshelf. Anything else? What gives you that impression? Okay. What kind of bookshelf? Is he a carpenter? Okay. At time, so he tried to make it during okay. the summer. Yeah. Generally speaking, you would say you have had some difficulty comprehending all that has been said, right? Let's go to the next. Let's go to the next part. I am Vijay Ganesh Reddy. My roll number is M E nine one two three four. Did you say that correctly? Last time I asked you roll number. How many people got his roll number right? Okay, some people did and some people did not. Okay. I am studying mechanical engineering. My mother tongue is Telugu. I am 20. The medium of English is more important than the medium of writing. The medium of speech is more important than the medium of writing. English is spoken as mother tongue by most people in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, etc. And most importantly, better spoken English serves as an excellent opportunity to taste success in this competitive world. Passage I said to the man behind the counter, I want a saw. He was a nice man and did his best for me. Yes, sir, 
but we have 15 different kinds for different jobs. What did you want it for? I explained about my bookshelves and felt like an ignorant fool in a world of experts, which was true. He saw that I was a novice and was very kind. He told me what I should need and advised me to have a lady's size. Easier to manage for the beginner, sir. He was not being nasty, just helpful, and I was grateful to him. He also sold me a book on woodwork for schoolboys, and I have been reading it with great interest. The next time on the shelves. Are the two extracts spoken by the same person or different persons? Same person. How many people feel it is the same person? How many people feel it is different people? Okay. Who, which of the two extracts do you understand better? The first or the second? Second. Okay, let me ask you some questions. What is this boy talking about in the second extract? Only one subject or more than one? More than one. What is he talk? What does it begin with? Importance of English. English. Importance of spoken English. Okay. Then what does he talk about after that? Buying a saw. How many kinds of saw were there in the big shop you went to? Fifteen. Fifteen different kinds. It is obviously the second extract is obviously easier to understand. Is clearer. Is that right? Everybody, do you agree? Why? Now, that is a big question. Number one is, what do you mean? Is slower. The same amount of speech, but longer duration. Correct? Anything else? Uh, what do you mean by pronunciation? Okay, so correct word stresses. <coughs> any any other thing? Pauses very importantly. Okay, I'll play it again and I'll ask you to notice the absence of pause in one and the presence of pause in the other. Let me write here. These things make it different. You know, slower tempo or let us say slow tempo. Sorry, I am sorry. Slower tempo, correct stresses, okay. then pauses. Where? Where did you notice pauses? At the end of the sentence or also within the sentence? within the sentence. Okay. Let us listen to it once again, both of them okay, and see if these things differ. Shall we do that? Sure. Please pay attention, ignore meaning for some time and look for these three things as I play them. Okay. I am sure you know uh, we can all do better than Ganesh. My roll number is 91234. My branch is mechanical. My mother tongue is Telugu. Age is 20. And I have elected this course because language is a powerful uh, way of uh, communication and for one to be successful you need uh, better communication skills and you can enjoy doing that. I have needed some new bookshelves for a long time. So during my holiday I decided to tackle the job myself. Not that I am very clever with my hands but it did not seem too difficult and as I had already said that we could not afford to go away. I thought it would be prudent not to spend money having it done professionally. I bought the wood at a local handicraft shop and, and, and had been left behind by the previous owner of the house. It was not good enough and I decided to buy a new one. That was my first mistake. My second one was to go to the biggest iron monger in London and ask for a saw. You would think it was simple 
Untu Tilbayasa, but it's not. Serenity. I am Vijay Ganesh Reddy. My roll number is ME9. How many parts are there to this boy's name? How many parts? Three. What are his names? Vijay Ganesh Reddy. What is your full name, Arun? Arun Kumar Reddy. Okay, so how would you say it? Would you say I am Arun Kumar Reddy or how would you say it? I am Arun Kumar Reddy. I am Arun Kumar Reddy. My name is Shreesh Chandra Chaudhary. You know, your listeners may be listening to your name for the first time. Give them time. Okay? And because there are three words in your name, so you need at least two pauses. Okay? So, for the numbers, look at the numbers. 9, 1, 2, 3, 4. I am studying mechanical engineering. What is your all number, Kiran? B1221. Each letter or each digit must come out clearly. What is my phone number? 9444028434. It is easy for you to note and remember compared with if I said my number is 9440284344, what did you say? God, the train got lost. Okay. Each unit has to have its time, mark the time. My mother tongue is Telugu, I am 20. The medium of English is more important than the medium of writing. What is the complete sentence here? The medium of English, actually he wants to say the medium of speech. Vijay Ganesh still makes mistakes. Not that he is a perfect speaker, but see the effort and see the result. What is the effort? To try to speak slowly, slowly with pauses. pauses. And what is the result? Greater understanding, understanding greater clarity. Okay? Look at the next sentence and mark the pauses there. Are you bored? Are you with me? Is it tiring? Lovely. Do not say no because I want to hear no. Okay. The medium of speech is more important than the medium of writing. How many pauses are here? What are the pauses? Okay. The medium of speech is more important than the medium of writing. It is easy for you to understand like a good dinner which your mother gives you, you know, and bad dinner which you get in the hostel, everything together. Eat. Sambar, Tayar, you know, curd, perugu, annam, you know, everything together like Buddhists. Okay, put in one bowl, rasgulla and pickle together and eat them. But a good dinner is one where it is served one after the one. Let us first have soup. And how is soup? Is soup eaten or drunk? How many people say eaten? How many people say drunk? Others? <laughs> Do you know the meaning of the word soup? Yeah. Okay. Soup is eaten. It is not drunk. There are two ways of eating soup. One is take the bowl and and the other is take it slowly, you know. So this is slowly, okay. Relish it. You know, that whips your appetite. Then you get a starter, then you get main course. Okay. So look at the positive. English is spoken as mother tongue by most people in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, etc. And most important when you make a list, list of anything, list of hostels. The hostels that require repair are Alaknanda, Mandakini and Tapti. Suppose I say hostels that require repair Alaknanda, Mandakini, Tapti, you get lost, you know. Every each unit requires Time. Importantly, better spoken English serves as an excellent opportunity to taste success in this competitive world. Passage. I said to the man, I want you to note now the voice modulation in the voice of this boy. Is that okay? 
do you understand me? What do I mean by voice modulation? Sometimes it is high, sometimes it is low. You know the conversation, the meaning is brought into voice. Let me write the word. Uh, the third thing I said, I have written three things already. The fourth thing is please write. It is not that you must always speak at the same speed. Okay. That is what we call monotonous. Mono means one single and tone means tone. Okay. So, do not make it monotonous, make it multitonous or polytonous. Okay. Bring modulation in your voice. Listen to this boy once again, you know, now for the modulation behind, in your voice. Behind the counter, I want a saw. He was a nice man and did his best for me. Yes, sir, but we have 15 different kinds for. How did the salesman answer him? No, repeat those words. How did the salesman answer him? Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. He said, yes, sir. What did his salesman say? Yes, yes sir. And then next? We have 15 we have different sauce. But we have 15 different kinds. What did he say? But, but we have 15 different kinds. Once again. But, but we have 15 different kinds. Do you see the modulation? Mark the modulation in the voice. Different jobs. What did you want it for? I explained about my bookshelves and felt like an ignorant fool in a world of experts, which was true. He saw that I was a novice and was very kind. He told me what I should need and advised me to have a lady's size. Easier to manage for the beginner, sir. What kind of saw was he advised to buy? Ladies size. A saw that was of ladies size. Was the salesman being sarcastic? No. no, no. Selling a ladies size saw to a boy? Was he being sarcastic? No. No. Sir. no. Why did he suggest that? Give me the answer. Easier for the beginner, sir. What did he say? Okay, right, let us go further. What I should need and advised me to have a lady's size. Easier to manage for the beginner, sir. He was not being nasty, just helpful and I was grateful to him. He also sold me a book on woodwork for school boys and I have been reading it with great interest. The next time the shells. Okay. These things can be learnt. You know, my experience at this institute has been, I have, this is the 26th time I am teaching this course in as many semesters. And I have always felt that if you make an effort, unfortunately you have to make that effort. Some people sometimes say, ah, oh, Vijay Ganesh was a very hard working boy. I can see him sitting here. He was just another boy like you. This is a way of learning which would work with anyone. Okay? Do you think only some people can learn? Do you think only one or two gifted people can speak in that, that manner or can change their accent or speech? Or do you think it is possible for all of us to learn and change our accent and speech? What, do you, what is your feeling? Okay. It is like learning another language. Once you learn another way of speaking, keep it with you and use it when necessary. Just as you know three or four or five languages, you know Telugu, you know Hindi, you know Tamil, you know English, you know French and you use them when you feel like using them, when there is a relevant and appropriate opportunity to use them. Similarly, this is learning another way of speaking. If you want to learn it, then for some time, for the next 8 to 10 weeks, even in the hostel, try and learn it this way. 
try and speak this way. Even in Telugu, speak slowly. Even in Malayalam, speak slowly with pauses. Okay? If you speak for longer than 3 or 4 minutes, wipe your lips like I do. Take a pause at the meaningful place, at the right place. Okay? Do not jump off the train because before it has reached the railway station, but when there is a stop, take a pause. You will see that your accent is changing. People pay attention to you when you speak. You are you become an effective speaker. The problem is you have to do this. No matter how much I love you, I cannot give you a tablet and tell you take it before breakfast and take it after dinner in the night and tomorrow morning when you wake up, you will be speaking like x or y. Okay? It is a skill, it is like learning to ride a bicycle. Can I learn riding the bicycle for you? Yes or no? No matter how much I love you, no matter how much your mother loves you, she cannot learn for you. You have to learn just as you have learnt how to walk. Okay? Anyone can learn it, a boy or a girl. I am going to play the recording from a girl now. Just see. Uh, okay. Let's do this. My name is Akila. My phone number is C H zero seven B zero zero four. My phone number is. What is your roll number? What is your roll number? B zero zero four. You see, it's so easy to remember. She spoke to you at least twenty-four months ago. She was here two years ago. What is it? CH zero seven means three years ago or four years ago. She might have graduated now, right? Okay. She is giving her phone number. Please don't call her. Okay. You know these things are supposed to be private, so kindly ignore it. But see, can it? It can be delivered with clarity. Nine seven nine one zero seven nine seven four one. My room number is three four zero. 340. See, numbers always go better in groups. Do not say 340 and then say 19. Better say 340 and 19. Or if you follow them, if you follow the grouping of numbers, then follow it entirely. The, 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 the point is be consistent. Either say 1424 or say 14, 24. Okay. Better say, better pronounce them individually, 1, 4, 2, 4, go in groups and you will find you are better understood, you are seldom or rarely misunderstood. Of course, you will may still be misunderstood, because speech is a two way traffic. You know, if your listener does not pay attention, then you do not get heard, but see. My hostel is Sharavati. Okay. I am going to play some text and please pay attention to the voice mod, all the three or four things I said there. Slow tempo, correct stresses, pauses and voice modulation. Does this young lady have them in her speech? I believe that India needs more civil engineers than computer engineers, because around us we see a large number of highways, roads, dams and buildings being built without heed to the basic engineering heuristics that need to be followed. The solution to this problem comes from having a very good set of civil engineers working towards building dams and projects. What is she talking about? What is one person, anyone please? What is she talking about? 
അപ്പണ് അശ്വിനി വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഷീ ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ഓക്കെ ഇർഫാൻ വെർ ആർ യു ആർ യു സ്ലീപ്പിംഗ് നോ സം യുവർ ഫ്രണ്ട് വാസ് സ്ലീപ്പിംഗ് ഗോ ടു സ്ലീപ്പ് ഡസ് മാറ്റർ ഇർഫാൻ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദിസ് ഗേൾ ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഓഫ് സിവിൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഓഫ് സിവിൽ not civil engineering yes, importance yes. of civil engineering what is she talking about yes. importance yes. of civil engineering yes. the question was whether x is more important or y listen to her answer you know rather she is more proud of her branch than possibly good but let us see which could help solve problems that we have in india a large number of roads constructed these days with a huge investment in capital are not high quality and are not built with the material the construction material do you notice the pauses can you repeat the sentence a large number i I'll, i'll i'll rewind listen for the pause please high quality and are not built with the material the construction material that they are supposed to and therefore what happens is we are rebuilding roads can you repeat the last few sentences therefore once again therefore next okay so you know there are clear natural pause groups therefore what happens is okay it comes to you naturally it's a matter of common sense all you have to do is to be sensitive to it pay attention and you will find that you are speaking more spending a large amount of money in them similarly is the case with dams and the subsequent influence on the environment is not being considered for all these reasons i believe that civil engineers are more needed than computer need engineers which we have in plenty in this country so briefly the point that i have tried to make is the following the point that i have tried to make is the following that all of us all of us can and all of us should speak at a comfortable tempo what is a comfortable tempo you can quantify it you can say five words six words seven words per second there is another way speak with correct stresses take pauses with natural word groups and bring meaning through your voice don't let it be flat monotone thank you have a good day